Well, hello there. My name is Mark Miles. I absolutely love helping trainers, presenters, workshop facilitators really take their results to the next level. And so in today's video, I want to talk to you about the challenge that we all face in regards to holding an audience's attention. Okay, and over time, as we as we all know, people's attention span or ability to focus on one thing has gone down and down and down over time with people having so many more distractions, their Twitter feed, their Facebook and all these different things going on that we maybe didn't face like 10, you know, 20 years ago as trainers and presenters and educators. So in today's video, I want to share with you some simple things that you can do in order to really hold people's attention span and make sure that they are focused for longer periods of time. Some of the ideas I'm going to share with you may seem a little bit contrarian, but I definitely want to encourage you, grab a pen and get ready to write, okay? So in today's video, I want to share with you four simple things that you can do to make the time go quicker and get more done in your training sessions. So the first one I want to share with you is that variety is your best friend. Variety is your best friend. I'll say it again. Variety is your best friend. What I mean by that is if you want to hold people's attention spans, you need to realize that it is the shifts and changes that keep people engaged. So I really want to encourage you to be very mindful of how often you're changing things up, i.e., are you just standing in front of your group and just lecturing at them? Because guaranteed, the longer you stay in the same modality of delivery, the quicker people are going to chew out. And what you need to get very good at is being able to create so much variety in how you deliver the information that people are constantly experiencing change. So there could be moments where you're speaking to the flip chart, speaking to the whiteboard, speaking to the PowerPoint, but you are changing so regularly that people are experiencing regular time shifts. Okay. And it's a change that holds people's attention. As we say in like in the world of music, it's often the, the silence between the notes that holds people's attention. Okay, so the first thing is think about how many different ways that you can present your content. And in some moments, maybe it's you speaking, maybe it's them doing something, maybe it's them doing pair work, maybe it's them doing something else, and then something else and something else. But master trainers are able to create the variety on demand and think about it very quickly on the spot. And people are never sure what's going to happen next. And that's the best place to be. Second number, uh, second um, key point is second one is the eight minute rule. The eight minute rule. Okay, there's actually a paper that was done. It was called the eight minute lecture, and they looked at how long essentially activities should go for would be the optimal length. And there's been a number of studies around attention span and length, um, how long people can focus. But I love following the eight minute rule. And basically the eight minute rule is saying that you should never really do a type of activity longer than eight minutes. Okay, so I've been very self-disciplined around this. I've, um, I guess, timed myself to speak for eight minutes, then do something else for eight minutes, something else for eight minutes, something else for eight minutes. Now I know that eight minutes may seem very short, but you will be surprised in regards to what you can actually achieve in eight minute chunks, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be exactly eight minutes, but you can certainly uh, really discipline yourself to condense activities into a more focused fashion and just encourage yourself. All right, cool, time to change, time to change, time to change. Eight minute rule, great one to live by, all right? And grab yourself a stopwatch and start timing yourself for how long you're talking or how long you're doing activities and try to teach and train into eight minute chunks. Third one, all right, third one is breaks, okay? Now, traditional training would say that we teach them, we train the audiences for 90 minutes, all right? And we keep them in their seats. But what we need to realize is that the human body can only concentrate for as long as the bum can tolerate, okay? What I mean by that is if the bum's getting numb, the brain's not taking anything in, right? So I really want to encourage trainers to be really aware of saturation point. The saturation point of a learner, physical, mental, and emotional saturation points do exist for every audience member that we teach, okay? So breaks are critical and whether you want to give people five minute breaks 
10 minute breaks, 15 minute breaks. It's totally up to you, but the regularity of the break is critical. And I think it's really important that you start to notice when people are getting tired and you're giving people breaks before they're hitting that saturation point. So I generally say to people, give people a break every 40 minutes um, and you never want to be pushing people past 50 minutes because people are just going to drop off and they are going to nod off. Okay. So just to recap, number one was the variety and getting so many different ways to deliver the information and get the learners doing different things in different different ways. Second was the eight minute rule. Third is regular, 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 regular breaks to the point where people are saying to you, are we having too many breaks? That's a good place to be because you want to encourage people to refresh their brains, their bodies, and be ready for the next piece of content. And the last tip that I want to leave you with is that of suspense, that of suspense. Because the more you can create suspense within your training sessions, the more people are going to be intensely focused on what's coming next. Because the brain loves closure. And the brain's going to seek it out as much as possible. The brain is a prediction machine, but it's also a closure machine. So it's always asking questions. It's always um, wondering what's happening next. And as soon as you can create a sense of wonder, or an anticipation in your training sessions, the more your audiences are going to be pretty much focused and they're going to be present in your session. And there's lots of different ways that you can build suspense. We can talk about that in other videos. And I have shared different ideas around that. But I just want to really encourage you, build moments of suspense throughout your entire workshop and as you deliver your content. So just to recap, number one was variety, 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 okay? And the more variety you have, the more people are going to feel like time is just rushing past and they don't even have a sense of time. Second one is the eight-minute rule. Be doing things in eight-minute chunks, all right? It's a really great um, habit to get into, all right? Number three, was for breaks. Take regular, regular, regular breaks, more breaks than you feel normally comfortable with. And last of all, create moments of suspense. And there's so many different ways that you can do that. On that note, folks, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. And I love sharing these tips with you. I hope you're getting value. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.